I'm Onella. He's quite a fella, and he has returned. He is bringing us an education that is unmatched and unrivaled, some of which we wish we could flush out of our brain afterwards, I'm sure. This is Sam Onella's Academy of Higher Learning. Uh, not really. Sam, o Sam Onella Academy. But and banned controversial. and controversial food. Now, I'm telling you, back in the day, people used to eat some gnarly shit. And the FDA in our country came through and was like, stop stop this is killing people it's making people sick it's gross uh but then there's some shit that's just allowed to slide like pickles pig feet that that my dad liked to eat my grandma would eat those um sometimes. just bar food in general is nasty rocky mountain oysters yeah yeah i don't think any of those things are banned but no, i don't think so yeah um there was something that I tried to get at the grocery store the last time we were there, and you were like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. I don't like it. What was it? I'm not even going to bring it up. What was it? The pickled sausage. Pickled eggs. Eggs, pickled eggs, pickled wainers. There was one time that I was <laughs> I was on a kick of getting pickled sausage. Now, yeah. I haven't got pickled sausage in like well over a decade. Okay, yeah. but I used to get it all the oh, time. Like it's so I, gross. Okay, so like I would go to school, I would work at the movie theater, I'd go on my break, and I would like go to Subway or something like that. And like at the gas station, they have pickled sausage, like not refrigerated, just out where you can get your chips. Yeah. Right. And there was this one time that I got pickled sausage, and I was disgusting for one, not eating it outside. But two, I ate it in the back, and I was tr <laughs> I was trying to drink the juice at the bottom of it. But the way that you have to open it with your teeth, it like cut weird, and it went all down my neck and all over my chest. I had to go get a new shirt. It was gross. I can't. Don't you just love it, babe? Nope. Anyway, let's see what Samonilla Samonilla Samonella has to say. Um, <laughs> God. Hey Majors, so I'd like to start off with a little biology lesson. When a species finds itself living on an island, it can start to evolve in strange ways based on the different pressures applied by the new right. environment. This is called island syndrome, and while it can manifest in a lot of ways, the biggest driving force is often a lack of predators. For example, the dodo lost its ability to fly since there was nothing to flee from. The saint killed a field mouse got twice as big since it no longer had to hide. And with no one around to bully them, the Sardinians started putting maggots in their cheese. Meet Kazumartsu, literal oh, translation, no. Rotten cheese. Oh, yeah. It's made by taking a perfectly good wheel of pecorino and letting a special type of fly lay eggs in it. The fly babies then work to partially digest the cheese, rendering it goopy and wet and maybe quite tasty and worm filled. Now, cheese as a concept is already quite suspect. It's clotted milk that you fill with bacteria and mold and let sit for a while. But cheese is safe and delicious. Cheese is my friend. I trust cheese. So my guard would be down around Kazumartsu. I've learned to look past a cheese's childhood. Strange upbringings are what give them their character. But it turns out, those maggots are still alive, and if you don't chew well enough, they can cause enteric myiasis, which is a fancy term for fly larvae living in your intestines. No! Symptoms are similar to food poisoning, except with the added psychic pain of knowing that, again, your bowels are full of squiggly new friends. It's for this reason that Kazumartsu is banned in the EU and elsewhere. A black market still exists, which is wild, and it's not a small one. In 2019, the illicit Kazumartsu trade was estimated to be worth 2 to 3 million euros annually. What? Personally, I would just do a prohibition style, like definitely don't put these fly eggs on this sumptuous wheel of pecorino, but if you do, you absolutely shouldn't keep it warm and damp for a week. But although it's traditional to leave the larvae alive when you eat your mag and cheese, some consumers still prefer them dead, shockingly. In that case, one puts the cheese in a sealed bag, and when the maggots run out of oxygen, they writhe around and fling themselves all over the place. This is heard as a distinct pitter-patter against the walls of the bag, and when the sound stops, the contents are ready to eat 
like popcorn. Please shark God fin no. soup is one most of us have heard about already, heard mostly about. in reference to its effect on shark populations and I the wastefulness that goes it. into making it. Until recently, though, I never looked into the nature of the dish itself. I figured, right, the fins are just the only part of the shark worth eating. Big whoop. It's probably not much different from, like, swordfish. Apparently, though, I had it backwards. Shark fins aren't even meat. They're made almost entirely of cartilage and collagen. They are the last part we should be eating. That's why it's only made into soup, because without being soaked in broth, it has zero flavor or nutritional value on its own. Their only redeeming quality is their unique mouthfeel due to how stringily the collagen grows, in structures called serratotrichia. The texture has been described as somewhere between chewy and crunchy, which I find describes most things, actually. Other adjectives present on Wikipedia include snappy, gelatinous, and sinewy. The exact sensation of eating this substance remains a mystery to me, and the unintended side effect of all this research is that I now really want to try it. Like, it's a big trade. I've gotta be the one that's wrong. There is imitation shark fin soup available, but I've already decided that it's not nearly as good. So I've come up with a compromise to this controversy. Everyone on Earth gets just one bite. Say there's 10 bites to a fin, 4 fins to a shark, 200 million sharks die, sure, a necessary casualty, but then we what can the end the practice forever. Sam? All done. You can finally rest, Mr. Ming. Come here, baby. Aww. Aki. What? The what? Aki. Where? Aki. The aki is a fruit originally from West Africa, which is most commonly associated with Jamaican cuisine, where it appears in such dishes as aki and saltfish. These alien kidneys here are called the arils, and they're the only part of the fruit that's actually eaten. The flavor is on the savory side, being described as kind of nutty or bean-like. What makes the aki controversial, though, is the effects it can cause when prepared improperly. If the arils are allowed to completely ripen, they're harmless. But if you eat them too early, or don't thoroughly clean off all the non-aril stuff, they can cause Jamaican vomiting sickness. This oh disease God. doesn't sound real, it sounds like it belongs next to eastern sweats and tangerian bone grindings, but that's actually an official term, and as for symptoms, it does what it says on the tin. Plus maybe death. While aki based products aren't outright illegal in the United States, they are very tightly regulated, and the raw fruit itself cannot be imported. So if you're really? American and want to try it, your options are fully cooked canned aki or going to Florida where a few people grow it domestically. Next we have bird's nest soup. This is another one that oh, I've I vaguely heard of, one. and for years I just assumed the name was a playful metaphor like mm. ants on a log or shit on a shingle. <laughs> Turns out, nope, this dish contains an actual bird nest, not like a pile of twigs like I was picturing, but rather a specific type of nest only made by certain nope. species i know what shit on a shingle oh, okay. is yeah it's Sorry. like yeah it's like biscuits and gravy with, so. with toast yeah yeah okay yeah yeah wait a minute hold on yes what? Yes. No fucking way. Yes. These of swiftlets. No. These nests are no. mostly made out of mucins, which are a set of proteins that, oh, among no. other things, serve to thicken all those wonderful secretions our bodies make. There's a little bit in human saliva, a little what? bit more in mucus, what? and in swiftlet saliva, look out, pal. So all the swiftlet does is it finds a nice wall, starts <laughs> laying out fat strings of slobber, which dry, and eventually she's got a nice place to roost. That is, right up until some gourmand <laughs> says, Ugh, today I crave bird spit. Uh, you can keep the egg. Though. And they then reconstitute it back into its original gelatinous texture. No. Unfortunately, these nests can't enter the U.S. Really since, believe it or not, eating bird saliva is a great way to catch bird flu. And now the time has come to speak of the ortolan. The ortolan is a kind of bunting, which is a sort of passerine, which is a type of bird. They're birds. Like many animals, they have a long history of being eaten by the French. But what separates the ortolan from your average squab or pheasant is the unique way in which it is prepared and eaten. They're typically caught with nets and kept in the dark, which causes them to overeat for some reason. Once it's about twice as fat, the entire bird is then thrown into a container of brandy, alive, and sealed in. While this serves to marinate the creature, it also drowns in the process, thereby killing one bird with no stones. The ortolan is then roasted, plucked, and presented whole to the consumer, who inserts the carcass into their mouth, feet first. As they chew, one hand continues holding the bird's head, while the other picks out the larger bones. This whole ritual is usually performed with a towel or large napkin over one's head. There's a few explanations for the purpose of the towel. Some say it's just there to keep the aromas in, while others say it's there to, quote, shield from God's eyes the shame of such a decadent and disgraceful act. Yeah, this one I'm okay with not trying, actually. Notable fans of the dish include, not joking, Bill Cosby and the guy <laughs> who invented the lobotomy. Ah, to be part of that social club. Our mission is to eat birds whole and then make people not remember things. Killing oh. ortolans was banned across the EU in 2007. Not for any ethical reason, but because French people did this so much that the entire ortolan population was threatened. Thankfully, as of 2018, their conservation status is under least concern, so hopefully the French can get back to it soon. Anyway, that's all I have. 
have for today. Till next time, I'm Sam and Ella, and thank you for watching. You, could, you can probably hear this little one, this little pig. Yeah, Shorty has crashed pretty much every video we've tried to do today. Um, um there are, yeah, no, I don't mm -mm. suffocate. That is a so bird and alcohol, dude. Like, why what, would you do that? That's yeah, so somebody insane. had to come up with this shit. Like, like some some freak, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, I'll try that." Just put a towel over your head. It's all good. Yeah, like it doesn't. It, it, you, you know, it just erases all the bad, horrible shit that you just did. Like, uh, that should that should definitely be illegal. Yeah, that should definitely. Yeah. That is not okay. It's already hard enough to know that we murder all these animals for our consumption, but. To do it in that manner, like my God, you have got to be. I don't know. It's a sadistic little, little, little fucking off. It's a sadistic thing. Uh, um, the bird, the bird soup, the bird nest. Yeah, bird soup. nest soup. I Come on, it on, man. TikTok. It is so expensive to buy those bird nests. So. I would expensive. say. I would say. But it's but like a delicacy. People are fucking stupid, man. Crazy. That shit no is way. so fucking no weird. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, and then also like the um, the beans that could just straight up kill you I'm if you don't cook them correctly. Not, well, it's just like uh, what was it? Which kind of? I think it's a uh, blowfish. Yeah. That. Yeah. Fuck the that. The Japanese eat. Not gonna do that. And like, if it is not prepared yeah. the correct way, you Why will you fucking die. Why would you do that? I don't know, man. People are wild, man. That shit to me, I just no thank you. Yeah. I would have I'd rather eat fucking oatmeal and goddamn what about saltines every day. What than, about the mac and cheese? My brain had already erased that, <laughs> and here you come back. Like my brain had already <laughs> erased that. No, Why? no, I Some love cheese. Like I love cheese. To have them dead, so they let the like no. Mm just no i will never listen to popcorn pop the same way after hearing about the noise of those bugs the maggots hitting the bag it's, like it's time they're ready oh like, that was tough what i just don't understand i was like who was like mm, this is a good idea that was tough like whoo that's some fear factor you shit. nasty fucks all right i'm out on this one i can't handle it anymore hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction Thank you to Samonella, I guess. Um, bye. Yeah, bye.